Peaches Day. How are we all? But everyone's here already. Hello, Yulian. Thank you for your points. I appreciate it. 14,000? God, that's a lot. <laughs> Erica! Hang on. What's going on here? One moment. One moment. Hello, you be like. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question, you be like. Is it you be like or is it sun of light? Or should I just call you light? Because <laughs> that's been bugging me for a couple of days now and I keep forgetting to ask. It's 11 am. Yes, it's 4 o'clock in Scotland. It is 4 o'clock here just now. Just after. Now I'm on time. <laughs> Noodle! Hello Noodle, how are you doing? How are your legs? Are you okay? <laughs> Hello Johnny, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Yes, a clean kitchen. No cobwebs. No weird spooky things. We have a clean kitchen and I love it. Right. But so I just call you light then. Or sun. That's a bit weird. <laughs> you see something new. Yes. I <laughs> I was very creative this morning. Um would you like to see what I did? <laughs> it's not a to-do list. Could you imagine, Johnny? I mean that's organization to a whole new level. It is not a to-do list. <laughs> Good question. Right, I will show you in one second. Hello, Little. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Clean kitchen. Thank you. I feel like it, it's a bit messy, but we'll go with it. We'll own it. We'll go with it. It's fine. <laughs> Hello, Lee Fisher. I am good. Thank you. I, I was actually on time for once today, and then I got in a bit of a tangle with my headphones, my microphone, um, and somehow... I was only five minutes late to be fair. I'm normally a lot later than that, so it's not too bad. So it's okay. <laughs> thank you for your points, Tron. And thank you, Johnny, for your points for the 12 hour stream. We're getting there a lot quicker than I was expecting. Um, so yeah, it oh, possibly won't be too far away. <laughs> Hello, Jane Adul. How are we this lovely Tuesday? Ringo, how are you doing? Doing up wrestling with your mic. I did. I did light. I'm just gonna call you light because UV light seems weird now. <laughs> so I'm gonna call you light. It's all good. I booked another gym next year. Well done, Noodle. I am impressed. That gym pod looked amazing. I was expecting it to be like like literally a tiny little pod and it might be a wee bit kind of claustrophobic, but that looks great. And that's ideal. If you could go to the gym like that all the time, I would more be up for that than if I had to go and it was like full of full of other people. This feels longer than 10 minutes. Hi Hoju! Why does it feel long? What that you were waiting? I was technically I was only five five minutes late. <laughs> Light is fine. Okay I'm gonna try and remember that. It was spacious enough and no one can see inside too. That's ideal noodle. That is exactly what you want from a gym. 10 minutes, I think, because I posted it in Discord, like, um, I, yeah, I said I would be live in 10 minutes, and technically, <laughs> I was here-ish. <laughs> Just have to ride by very, I know, I'm not surprised, Johnny, hopefully, you'll be able to get back to it soon. Johnny, if you're in the Discord, you should have a look and see because Noodle went to a thing called a gym pod and it was basically like a little room with gym equipment in it and only two people can go in at the time, it looks amazing. I don't know how they would do that here, but it's great. Hello Jen, enjoy teaching second graders, that sounds fun. <laughs> Good luck to you and thank you very much for popping in before. I appreciate it. Yeah, Grace, thank you, Light. I, ap I appreciate that. I do. <laughs> Didn't learn and hold you. Right, do we want to see my to-do list? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, 
Okay, this is basically what I spent my whole morning doing and I'm so pleased with it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Gym pod, a container size. It was great in the middle. Right. Are we ready? Is this clean? <laughs> So it's not actually, oh that's the wrong one, hang on. It's not actually a to-do list. It's not a to-do list. I'm so, I'm so pleased with it, I'm so pleased. The only thing is it's slightly awkward. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? All the lists. It's an unusual list. Because the blast music. Oh, that's cool, Noodle. Yeah, it had a lot more equipment than I was expecting. Right, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> so, these are my mayo jars of subs. So everyone who subs get their own, gets their own little mayo jar on this board of goodness. I can't get it all in the one screen. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get rid of me. We do it this way. Are we all in? Still not. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, you get the gist. <laughs> so everyone is a mayo jar. And hopefully, so everyone is on there. And then I'll just keep it up to date during the month. Your Christmas month. <laughs> Johnny, December would have to have 41 months then. And yes, I am very aware of how many they are, there are because that took me a really long time. <laughs> Do you like it? I love it. I'm so pleased. It's just a, same, a shame you can't see it all. Hold on. I wonder if I do it like this and if I just hold it up. Yeah, you can't, you definitely can't read it on that. But look, how cute! <laughs> so yeah. So what did you get up to this morning? Well, I sat and cut out mail jars on post-its, as you do. Oh, thank you, Noodle. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that was my project for today and I really like it. I'm really, really pleased with it. <laughs> So great, thank you, Erica. A nice touch. I thought so, hold you. It's just a little bit. So something a little bit different. It's just a, a shame you can't really see it, but all your names are there. <laughs> and hold you, I did not spell your name wrong. <laughs> Some of them was quite tricky because the names are quite long. Now I need to try and get it free again. Isn't it cool, Dinatel? I'm so pleased with that. I really... <laughs> it took me longer than I would like to admit to do it, but I think it was worth it. <laughs> exactly. You know what it is, so it's just dancing. Thank you, little. Are you going to do it monthly? Um, Noodle, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Because obviously everyone like subscribes and unsubscribes at the same time, or not at the same time, at different times. So I'm not sure. I probably will just kind of, at least with that, I can just like add ones onto it and take ones away. Maybe like every week or so, I'll have it. I'll check and see if I need to update things. I also make a, an LED cork board. <gasps> Can you imagine, like, that would be, like, next level. <laughs> is that squint now? A wee bit. <laughs> See, this is going to be the issue. I think that's straight. <laughs> oh, that was extreme. Thank you for the tip. <laughs> vegan meal. I appreciate that. Well, we do a bean before we even start any any cooking or anything. <laughs> Thank you, vegan meal. I do appreciate the tip. Whoever you are out there, 
I'm a grown man, but I'm just going to <laughs> Isn't it gringo? It's so cute. <laughs> And I thought, like, the male thing is not going away. Let's embrace it. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, I am sorry. Yours must have run out. Get your prime on the go, Jennifer. <laughs> I, I feel like that's a very specific niche, Johnny. <laughs> Post-its shaped like mail jars. It, I mean, you never know. You never know. There might be something out there. I doubt it very much. <laughs> but yeah, so that's what I've done today. <laughs> I hope everyone else's day has been equally as productive. <laughs> How's everyone today? How has everyone's day been? Are we all having a good day? I think, I feel like that's when it's down. Oh. <laughs> Google. <laughs> Giggle away, Johnny. Giggle away. <laughs> Shall we do the bean first? Actually, hold on. I'm going to get a glass of water because we know how these things can go. So let's get our water first and then thank you to vegan meals, whoever you are. We'll have a bean boozled. Get a post-it pad, use a giant paper cutter and cut the pad with it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, in theory. Or I could just, I mean, the thing is, some of, like most of these people, these wonderful, wonderful people, um, have been subscribed for at least a month or two, or, well, two or three. So maybe I won't need to add too many new ones and I can keep the ones that are there. We'll see, we'll see how we go with it. And if it, if it all blows up, then I'll get a giant paper cutter. <laughs> Johnny, you did not find mail shaped post-its, did you? You did not. I don't believe that. I don't believe that's a thing. <laughs> you wore your new leggings? Oh, nice. And it was perfect. Good, Noodle, I am glad. I feel like leggings can be a bit hit or miss for a workout. Sometimes they can be so uncomfortable that it's not worth it. Yes, hold you. Vegan meal. <laughs> Very kindly tipped five pound and a penny so that I have to do a bean boozles. <laughs> Is it? Why? It's just an IKEA one. Maybe I'm just a small person. <laughs> it's a regular size glass, and I'm just a small person. <laughs> Okay, let's do this first and then we'll get started on the food because the food, we're doing a fairly straightforward recipe today, it's gluten free and it is vegan which is exciting. I feel like it's been a while since I've done any like proper vegan recipes. <laughs> so we're doing a spinach, sweet potato and lentil dal. Maybe some rice with it and maybe a kind of raita. Just because I feel like that's kind of what I fancy tonight because it's a wee bit chilly. I think like a, a nice curry-ish will be quite tasty. And I just want a simple recipe <laughs> for once. I have pockets. Oh, noodles. These are the perfect leggings. Well done for finding them. Found hearts, flowers, animals, speech bubbles. <laughs> Johnny's on a mission. <laughs> I mean, even like a, a jam jar might work, but again, I'm not sure that that's a thing. I mean, who has ever said, you know what, I need jar shaped post its? <laughs> As a former, what's Lululemon? What's Lululemon, who do? Is that a, an active wear brand? And did you also have the perfect leggings or are you taking the mix? <laughs> Hello Liza, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday, it's good to see you. I hope you're well. Thumbs up post it. That's a great idea. That's it, you, could, you wouldn't even have to write anything on them, Johnny. You just stick them places. And then you could turn them upside down and the thumbs down. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> I love post-its. 
fuckers in leggings. Yes, Erica, I know. I feel like that's one thing that leggings do actually need because you've always got something that you want to stick in a pocket. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate it. I, I will look forward to having a look at them. Thank you for your points, Jennifer. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Aw, Tron. Thank you very much, Tron, for your gifted subs. And welcome to the... Uh, yeah, this is a bit I'm going to need to figure out. So welcome to the Confetti Clan. You mayo jars, you. <laughs> Light Omega and Vanilla Queen. Thank you very much, Tron. I really appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Once I get started on the curry, we can... I'll draw the next lot of mayo jars for our new subs. <laughs> wearing Christmas leggings. Erica, you do you. You do you. It's November, that's legit. <laughs> the popular yoga workout. So did you actually work for them, Hoju? Does that mean you got a really good discount? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tron. We appreciate you hugely. And I get to make more mail jars. <laughs> Yes, like your name will also go in a jar. <laughs> you have avocado in your meal jar. Why, Nicole? Is that deliberate? Is it in there by accident? <laughs> Did you get the sole beer container? I... I cannot remember. Pringles. I feel like it was probably one of these, you know, you get like the special offer sometimes in the supermarket and I think it was like if you bought however many soles were in the container, you got the container for free, I think. I would imagine, I can't remember why, like what other reason there would be. <laughs> I think that was it, I think it was just it came with the beer that I bought. <laughs> Can you go in a mason jar? No. No, you can't, like... <laughs> It's a male jar or nothing. <laughs> the confetti cupboard. <gasps> Told you that's clever. That's clever, I like it. I like it. No worries, Johnny. Thank you for being here. Thank you for finding the post-it. <laughs> and I hope you have fun with your Christmas scene. That sounds like good fun. It was a free discount. <laughs> so Hoji has all of the leggings with pockets. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Luco, for all of your points to the 12-hour challenge. I cannot believe how quickly we're getting there with that. It's madness. But it'll be good fun. <laughs> it was deliberate. That's good. I'm just, just avocado or like avocado meal, Luco? What? I don't, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> oh, wrong one. Okay. So thanks to some kind soul called Vegan Meal. <laughs> we're gonna do another bean boozled before we even started thinking about cooking so let's do this and get it out of the way first <laughs> avocado mayo avocado mayo loco is delicious i really like it mayo caddo yes there's a brand that call it that and it is tasty oh, i love guacamole as well I, it took me a good couple of days to finish all the guacamole that I made for the Halloween stream and I was not mad because it was delicious. <laughs> I know, gringo, I got the bean boozled and I've been hit twice with a rotten egg. That actually made a lot of sense, that was clever. <laughs> I've been hit twice with a rotten egg and I think I've had three or four nice ones. So... The odds are against me here, but we'll see. The olive oil mayo is much better, do you think, so, Luco? I mean, I'm a big fan of Hellman's, as we all know. <laughs> right. Vegan mayo moniker. Sounds like a Bruno. <laughs> it does, so do. It does. It's all buff. It's all buff. The zombie, zombie puke. The pumpkin puke. Yes. It was delicious. It was like, that was a good guac. Okay, are we ready? Let's get my water ready, just just in case. 
Okay. I really like the spinning motion. Oh no, it's happened again. Chocolate pudding or canned dog food. And I've already had this one and I got chocolate pudding and I really don't feel like, actually, hang, no, hang on. That, okay, that's really mean. That's really mean. So there's two. The dog food and the chocolate pudding are both brown. I've already had one that was chocolate pudding. There's only one left. <laughs> that, that's not a good sign. Scared. And this is the one that everybody said, Gringo, was this not the one that brought you to tears? <laughs> oh. Well, thank you, Vegan Mayo. There's flavour in the brown. Hold you, I don't want the flavour though. <laughs> I want it. Oh, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. They're all. <laughs> Thank, that's great. Thanks, Ringo. I appreciate that. That uplift, uplifting motivation before we get started. <laughs> oh, they've got reaction videos on the website. Look, oh, that's not going to make it any easier for me. If anything, that's only going to make it hard. <laughs> okay. I mean, it just looks like a little, a little wee jobby, doesn't it? <laughs> we need the gym. <laughs> that's a good idea, Hojo. I should, I should get some, like, suspense music. Anytime I have to eat a bean. Okay, are we ready? I'm not ready. I'm really not ready for this one. <laughs> I feel like I know what it's going to be. Okay, okay. I can do this. I can do it. I can do it. Chocolate pudding. <laughs> yeah. So I got no dog food in this one. Because the black one is skunk. I played Jewel of the Fates. What's Jewel of the Fates? Hold you. Quite sad because the chocolate food one is actually quite tasty. But you don't ever want to get it because there is a chance that it could be dog food. So that's almost, almost sad. That I won't get to try the dog food one. I mean, I can live with it. <laughs> What's Jewel of the Fates? Hold you. Well, thank you, Vegan Mayo, whoever you are out there. I appreciate it. That was a tasty bean. <laughs> yes, yum, Noodle. That was actually quite nice. I am so relieved, Dino Doll, because all I have heard is that the dog food one is absolutely disgusting. And that was the one I was absolutely dreading. And I was like 99% sure that's what that was going to be. <laughs> Do I hold you? So disappointed. <laughs> Some of the background music. Ah, okay. That would be good fun, actually. Yeah, it was. It was pretty much Buff who put me off this whole this whole idea because of the dog food one. Okay. So we get some cooking done, maybe. <laughs> I'm just gonna gonna slowly start because it's not gonna take me a long time to do this. Um, we're basically just doing this here. Spinach, sweet potato and lentil dal. And then I'll probably stick some rice on, do a raita. And then while it's all cooking, we can sit and draw our little vegan meals. <laughs> Good morning, John. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Happy Tuesday. Um, yeah, so I'm going to open up the recipe on my phone just so I've got it here mm. right <laughs> that's that's a good start <laughs> that's a good start um it says to heat a tablespoon of sesame oil in a pan however you don't ever do that <laughs> because Sesame oil burns really quickly and it's absolutely disgusting if it's burnt. So I'm not gonna I'm not doing that. 
literally the first step and I'm I'm saying no. <laughs> I'll maybe put a, I don't even think I will because I don't think you need sesame oil in this because it's a curry. If it was more like a Chinese or a Thai or something kind of idea, but it's a dal and I don't feel like sesame oil works. So step one, I'm already ignoring the recipe. <laughs> That's what I said, Noodle. That is what I said. <laughs> okay. So a red onion, garlic and ginger. Doing well exercising later. Nice, John. I pretty much decided between yesterday and today that I need to start exercising again. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get up tomorrow and do some do some kind of exercise because <laughs> I need to get back into something. This is not good. I have no sense about what am I thinking? What am I thinking about the noodle? What was it? Chinese? Yes. Okay, so just Chinese then. That's true, actually. No, you're right now. <laughs> Molly, very little. Okay. Do it. Oh, I need. I need to. I do. I need to. I mean, it's it's bad. Noodle is bad. So yes, I'm gonna try tomorrow and get back into it. Big pot, probably. Uh. All of the pots. So we're gonna need that as well. So let's bring this out as well. Japanese. I'm trying to think what what I've used it for. I definitely feel like I do use it quite often. I can't think now what for. <laughs> Japanese very minimal. I'm having a complete mind blank. Thank you for the points, John, towards the 12 hour stream. I appreciate it. Top two in your mind is Korean and Chinese. It must just be Chinese, like Chinese food that I do then because I've. Have I ever really made? I've not. Uh, the only thing I've made that's Korean was the. What was that called? The one with the kimchi. <laughs> My brain. It took me so much mental capacity to make all the mail jars that I now can't function. What am I looking for in here? Who knows? No one knows. <laughs> Google says this is staple in Japanese food. Okay. I feel like I've seen it in a few dishes. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Even Japanese food. What Japanese food have I made? Moving back. That's the one noodle. I feel like I used to use it all the time, but I'm not sure. I don't know what for now. Not to worry. <laughs> not to a big deal. <laughs> want to make a bim. I would recommend it, noodle. I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. Going for a double chocolate muffin. Look all. Stop doing this to me. <laughs> you always have the best food while I'm on stream. It's so unfair. <laughs> You've made it once. Oh, I, me too, and I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> it's okay, look all. You go and get your, your chocolate, double chocolate muffin and you enjoy it. One red onion is going to be chopped up and put in the pot. You have set. <laughs> they will keep you going for a while, Lico. Yes, feel free to share. <laughs> I've seen, so does that mean I get half of one or three, Lico? <laughs> How does this work? Oh, I wish. I love a good double chocolate chip muffin. <laughs> um, 
You meant half a one, didn't you, Luko? You meant half. I got too excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> So these have to be finely, finely diced. Would you prefer? Well, I mean, I would ideally, <laughs> really three. However, I can't eat them anyway, so you should just enjoy them, Lico. I can't imagine they're gluten free, so you go for it. Enjoy them for all of us. Handball time. Ooh. That sounds unusual, Noodle. What's sambal again? Everything's out like a fan. So would you have that with rice? I don't know if I like sardines. I like, I like tuna and I like tinned salmon. But I don't know if I like sardines. For the gluten free triple. What? What? Why, Lico? And I'm on my way. <laughs> that sounds amazing. The chili paste. Oh, spicy though. Spicy. <laughs> oh, that's sad. This camera covers my mail jars. Oh, well. Let's go to the... Do we go to the overhead cam? We're getting fresh dinner. That would probably help. Sambal sardines. Is that something you would eat as well, would you? Ooh. That's roasting. Many gluten free things. Really? It's all shipped in. Yeah, it's so tricky with stuff like that because they need to be so careful with where they're prepping it that you find a lot of the time um, they're not like they're made somewhere separately. There's a few kinds like cider means the thing. Oh, yeah, please do, Noodle. We do love a good food pick. We do love a good food pick. So what has everybody been up to today? Or are we just, are we all just awake? I feel like today has been quite a productive day for me actually. <laughs> and yes, Hoju, the word ban is back. And I have an idea for how I'm going to do it. So yes, I feel slightly happier about it now. <laughs> okay. One crushed garlic clove. Watching a Thai grilled fish. Oh, noodle. I love grilled fish. I just, I love fish. I'm a big fan of fish. I try not to eat too much of it, but I seem to get, I seem to have like, I go through kind of phases with it where sometimes I'll eat far too much of it and I'll be like, I must eat fish for all meals of the day. And then I go through months where I'm like, oh, I don't remember when the last time was that I had a bit of fish. Working mostly, oh Eliza, I hope you're not too busy. And I hope you're getting a bit of a rest as well. Because rest is important. <laughs> to see if it's worth it, Hoju. See if it's worth your points. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... If I fail... So as soon as I fail, then we just stop the timer. And if I fail... Whoever redeemed it gets to choose between salty, sour, or spicy. Is that the three? Yeah. And then I have to do a teaspoon of whichever one they pick. Yes, 
<laughs> so that's how that's going to work from now on. However, <laughs> I also think a 12 hour stream fun. <laughs> Let's donate to that one instead. Yay! Oh, thank you, Erica. Erica with a sword. What do you think, Hoju? Is it worth it? Do we do we approve? Or are we not impressed? This is potentially quite a lot of garlic uh, ginger, but I like ginger, so we're just gonna go with it. Funny, I'm feeling very calm today. <laughs> I think because I know that it's a nice straightforward dish. I'm not in a rush. I feel like the last few, I've felt so rushed and I've had so much to do in the time that it stressed me out. Today I'm like, no, it's all good. It's not too shabby. Makes the point that make it a bean. I know, I'll hold you. I think once once we've reached the 12 hour goal, I might start changing things about a wee bit. <laughs> Erica, I was not expecting anyone to do that immediately. <laughs> okay. How do we like that one though? Is that one good? I felt like that was something different that I could offer. Right, let me have a wee think. I was gonna have, I was gonna get a list actually before we started this, so that I could just make my way through the list. But let me get this on and then we'll do you a Scottish word or phrase. A new one, yes, Noodle. I'm trying to think of some new fun things to add to the stream. So if you have any ideas, do let me know. Just Scottish curse words. Okay, see, the, that's what I was thinking, but this is technically a family friendly, <laughs> a family friendly stream. I mean, <laughs> I, I think that would be quite funny. Maybe I should do curse words like a higher point redemption and then the other one's just any. Scottish phrases. A dad joke. I love the dad joke redemption. And Erica, must, I, I must say, I watched the VOD for your stream last night, this morning, and what a fun stream that was. It was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> In fact, because you wouldn't have done it. Um, it was so much fun. <laughs> and I'm so sad that I couldn't have been there live. But I had a lot of fun, even this morning, just watching it back. <laughs> and a crappy app. What's the, what's the crappy app? Is that the... No, the wheel's good. Exercise with copper. Look all... No. <laughs> Most definitely not. <laughs> that would... I would hate that. I would absolutely hate that. Save up. Oh, you keep your points, Noodle. You do you. It's all good. It's all good. The wheel, I know. That was a lot of fun. The crappy dad joke app, but it was, it's a lot. It's good. It's really good. There you go. <laughs> you do. That wig suited you weirdly. I don't know if that's a good thing. <laughs> bad thing. I think it's a good thing. You you went with it. You owned it. It was a good look. And the narwhal was great. <laughs> right. Let me chuck all of this in. 
And then we'll have a think about what we can teach you that's Scottish. So, that's one red onion. We've got one clove of garlic. Yeah, it was nuts, Eric. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. But quite rightly so. A lot of fun. And then that's about that much ginger. <laughs> Something like that. And then it's, it's to put in some chili. I don't I don't know how I feel about this. I have mm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put in a tiny amount of chili flakes rather. Because I don't really have any chilies I can use. So we're just gonna put in that many. Okay. That up a tiny bit because it's not actually doing anything. Cook for one minute and then add turmeric and cumin. Turmeric and cumin, I do not have ground. Three chickens worth of curry, yum. I just, I love a good curry. Especially when it's a bit chillier outside. There's just something very comforting about it. Right, let me just, let me just have a wee. <laughs> Noodle, you've got this. You can do it. We believe in you. Right. Let me ha let me find a good one. Okay. <laughs> I just searched for um, Scottish phrasing to give me some inspiration because I find that a lot of these, like you'll Google it and I'll sit and read them and think, I have never said that in my life and I've never even heard of it. I don't know where they got that from. But I have found a few good ones. I don't know if it did. Noodle. I don't see it. But thank you, Noodle. I appreciate it. I will hydrate now. <laughs> right. Okay. Erica, are you ready to learn some Scottish? I feel like I'll also need to write these down so that I remember what ones I've already done. <laughs> okay, so our, our Scottish lesson for today is the phrase, your bum's out the windy. <laughs> so, I can translate that into English. That's appropriate, Erica. So, your bum's out the windy means your bum is out, is hanging out of the window. <laughs> no, nothing about windy. Windy, like, hold on. Your bum. Out the windy. <laughs> so that's how you, that's how you would spell it. And it means your, your backside is hanging out of the window. <laughs> the sentence that's the sentence look <laughs> so basically if you say or if someone said that to you then it means that they think you're lying or you're exaggerating or if you think that someone's lying to you to you then you would say your bum's at the windy <laughs> it's 
basically like, you're lying, you're exaggerating, you're talking a lot of nonsense, your bum's out the window. <laughs> I like that one. I don't use it enough, actually. <laughs> and I don't know why they say that, but yeah, that's just it. You're talking nonsense, your bum's out the window. <laughs> We don't moon a lot of people here, like, I don't think. <laughs> You're sitting in the cell of an open window with no clothes on. Hopefully not, chocolate. Keep that to yourself. <laughs> yeah, so it's quite, as you can see, it's quite an expressive language. <laughs> no, it was not literally out the window, Lico. No worries there. All the bums are inside the windows. <laughs> it, I don't remember it. Hoju, you never know. Um, I mean, I would say it's it's fairly common. Like it's not. Yeah, it's not that unusual. We do. <laughs> You're right enough there, chocolate. You make a good point. <laughs> the adventures of the kilt, and you're not really allowed to wear underwear. <laughs> Love to hear the thickest Scottish brogue available. Like, sometimes, like, there are Scottish people that I struggle to understand just because their accent is so thick. Because mine is not a thick accent at all. That comer is called the chocolate film. <laughs> we'll have to rename it, Hoju. We will have to rename it. Yeah, it's nuts. Like, some people, their accent is insane. And I would really like to learn, I'd really, really like to learn um, Scottish Gaelic because it's becoming one of these like endangered languages because not many people speak it and I think it'd be really cool to speak like proper Scottish. So maybe at some point I will, I'll, although probably, I'd probably have to do it sooner rather than later because it may disappear, which I think is really sad. <laughs> I think that's a thing, Chocolate. I think it just depends. Unless you are those people who have the, the mad accents, then there's always going to be people, be people that don't understand you. I, th I really want to, like, I really, really want to. Once worked at a local fast food restaurant and dropped so <laughs> They just sit and, like, tune in to his accent. <laughs> That's mad. The more copper drinks, the thicker the brogue gets. That's possible. That's possible. Hold you. <laughs> oh, may I help you? <laughs> that, what is that supposed to be? Yeah, I would like to hear that in real life. Chuck glad. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> Hold you. I'm sure your English is just fine. Don't be silly. <laughs> we should all learn Scottish Gaelic. That would be a lot of fun. Oh, the smell of cumin is just amazing. So the next thing we want to do is add cumin and turmeric. <laughs> Your English is gooder, hold you. Your English is gooder. <laughs> oh, the smell of that. I can learn from Google Translate. I mean, Google Translate is getting better. At one point it did used to be fairly crap, but it's definitely getting better. Right, once we've got this on cooking, we can sit and doodle a wee bit. Turmeric and cook for one minute more and then we want to add in fact let's not go too high on this because this pot can be a bit nuts no y'all <laughs> oh god be chock glad you'd have to say that I can't it it would just sound bizarre Pecan. 
be corn pa. I don't do accents. <laughs> I really don't. It's, I mean, it's, I kind of murder accents. Right, and this beast <laughs> of a sweet potato, they've said to use two. There's no need. This is large enough. I murder the accents. <laughs> Nobody move. There's been a murder. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, chocolate. <laughs> Just don't expect it to happen very often. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with accents. Oh, well done, Lai. So what does that mean? Yes, I do. I murder them, Lupo. It's quite sad. What? <laughs> Are we getting impatient, Light? <laughs> well, according to the, the recipe, it says 35 minutes. However, that's not physically possible when you're streaming, streaming so I reckon about two and a half hours. <laughs> I like it though. It does sound pretty cool, doesn't it? Why? Like, I feel like it's probably quite a tricky one to pronounce. It's possibly quite similar to Welsh in that. Yeah, exactly, Chocolad. Like, the pronunciation is nuts. Which I think, again, would also be a really interesting thing to learn. I don't really need to give myself anything more to do, but I would like to start that at some point. <laughs> Gaelic and the Latin alphabet are not. <laughs> yeah, Gaelic, they just did what they wanted. They were like, no, <laughs> rules, I'm not going to hold myself to them. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Yes. He makes chocolate light. He makes chocolate and a lot of other things. But one of the things is chocolate. I think chocolate is it still on your is it still on your Twitch? Um your three was it three days of chocolate making? Noodle, I'm excited. I want to know what it is. Ah, I didn't know that, Chocolate. Oh my god, it smells amazing already and it's just from the cumin. Cookie making, that's it. So clever. On the boards. I watched some of it. I need to actually go back and watch the rest of it. But it's quite inspiring. <laughs> Lad, is that not a universal word? Lad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, chocolate is most definitely not Scottish. <laughs> that that's uh that's a Texan accent. Wow, that was all Chloe. Oh, that's no fun. Get her sorted out, Noodle. That hurts too much. Have you not, Light? I thought that was quite a common, quite a common term. Lad. It's definitely common here. He's a wee lad. See, Ho Hojo gets it. <laughs> Hojo's practically Scottish. Celtic ancestry. I feel like a lot of people do seem to. Is it? I feel like it's it's used a lot in England as well. Mm. A sweet potato is a beast. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Because I would say 
I bet Buff uses the word lad a lot. Is that an American will understand? Okay. But they wouldn't understand if I said your bum's out the windy. Probably makes the finest five star show. Well, you'd be like, you, I've done it again, light. <laughs> I have yet to try. Chocolates, chocolate, chocolate. You'll need to make a big batch chocolate and send it out to us. <laughs> out, out the windy light. Out the windy. I suppose that was quite actually a lot of information in one. Because basically we call a window a windy. And out is out. And year is your. So that was a wee bargain you got there. These might, these chunks might be a bit small. However, it means they'll at least pro definitely be cooked all the way through, which is good. Bring your, oh, do you chocolate? Oh, only to wait till next year. I should start saving now to be able to make it over to the US one. <laughs> Although I'm sure there's one here as well, isn't there? I think there's one in Amsterdam. A three for one. I know, I'm too good to you, Erica. Far too good to you. <laughs> Cacao beans and sugar. <gasps> Cacao beans, oh, I love chocolate. I'm already into my Christmas chocolate and I'm not even sad about it. Right. Sweet potato is in. What do we do now? Lentils and some stock. <laughs> Aww, that's a shame, chocolate. It's worth a try though. It was worth a try. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just have to try for the... Where's the US one? Does it change every year or is it always in the same place? Abundance of Halloween. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of food, Luco. I love, oh, I used to love Kit Kats. I can't have them now, obviously, but that's one thing that I miss, is a proper Kit Kat. An eggnog, why do you have an eggnog, Luco? <laughs> that's, that's unusual. The difference between cacao and cocoa? That's a question for chocolate. I'd be making it up. <laughs> San Diego, okay. Kept changing, but I think, okay. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't really matter whereabouts in America it was. Either way, it's, it's going to be a journey for me. <laughs> Improper Kit Kats. Ah, uh, like the fake ones. I don't know. I don't know how they do it, but there's definitely a thing with like regular Kit Kats. They're so much better than any of the fake ones. I, I think I agree. The eggnog is good, but is it not a Christmas thing? Would you have it already? I thought it was just at Christmas. Uh, right, lentils and stock. So, let's just stick. What did they say? 600 milliliters? I'm going to process green on nibs. Look at cocoa is solid. Ah! Thank you for that. Fact. Every day is a school day. Oh really? So from Halloween you can drink eggnog. Here eggnog is very much a Christmas thing I would say. And even then I don't think a lot of people drink it. Used to have an orange scream milk. What's that look all? That sounds good though. 
Also got cocoa butter, which is the oil pressed from those beans. Right, gotcha. The currency, yeah, well, Scottish pound, like, it's a whole thing. <laughs> so, our, yeah, so basically the, the main currency is the Great British Pound, um, which is controlled by the Bank of England. However, the Scottish banks can all, they print Scottish notes. So it's, it's tricky. There's, I mean, everything here is a bit tricky. <laughs> but it means that sometimes, so like, our notes will look slightly different to the English notes. And sometimes if you're in England, you can have a bit of problem trying to spend your Scottish notes because if it's like a small shop or something, they'll never have seen a Scottish note before. And it's a little bit of a bugbear of ours. <laughs> because it's legit money but sometimes you can have issues with it so like if I was going on holiday to England I would wait and get my money either get my money from a bank here like not from a, an ATM get it directly from the bank and say I want English notes or wait until I get there and go to an ATM there and get English notes out because you can just have a hassle with the Scottish notes and it's not worth it although they're exactly the same <laughs> it, yeah it's it's ridiculous. Two fifty. Yeah, it's it's so weird, Erica. Like it it makes no sense, and it is just really annoying. <laughs> and like they they only have Bank of England notes, whereas we have like Royal Bank of Scotland, Bank of Scotland, Clydesdale Bank. So all of the main banks here can print their own money. It's all very complicated. <laughs> we don't like to do things simply. <laughs> Orange cream popsicles, but in milk form. Ooh. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that, Luco. I would try it. I don't know how I feel. Yeah, that's the problem, right? It's basically, it's, it's exactly the same, but a lot of places they'll just say, well, I don't know what that is, so it might be fake, so I'm just not going to accept it. <laughs> they go, well, that's your problem, not mine, really. A little bit of a bugbear. Is that... Surely that's not a Scottish thing. Is that not just an... Is that... A little bit of a bugbear. Just a little bit of an annoyance. A little bit annoying, a little bit frustrating. Oh, do. I did not realise that wasn't... A normal thing to say. <laughs> it's good. Exactly, yes. Like, it's just easier to just have English pounds and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's, it's weird, Noodle. I don't really understand why, but it's all controlled by the same bank. So it's all proper money. It's very, very much in your face. Here's some balls in your drinking. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> okay. So it's alcoholic, or is it just really sweet? I enjoyed it a lot, but recently it's been too strong. A little bit of a sugar bit. <laughs> that, uh, that's funny. There are so many things I don't realize that aren't normal things to say. money it is it's all my money I wish I wish <laughs> right sugar rush central I like sugary drinks but I, I'm not a huge fan of milky drinks so I don't know I would try it though ah I made a mess I made a mess okay Easiest way is just have money on your debit card. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Ideally, that's what you want to do. Ideally, just don't have cash at all. <laughs> Put all my credit cards and then you get points. Yes. Yeah. 
that's so true I think as well, like, obviously it's different now because most places do take credit cards, but I think in the past, <laughs> I'm still thinking of, like, when you had to get, like, pesetas out if you wanted to go to Spain on holiday. <laughs> and we've got his finger smack. Oh, that's not cute, Erica. <laughs> Time out. Five minutes. Oh, where'd it go? Five minutes after the fact We don't need the ice pack anymore. Really soon. <laughs> <laughs> wrong finger on the wrong hand. Oh, he's sneaky. <laughs> that is cute, though. He did try. <laughs> that sounds sore, though. Oh, kids are funny like that. They're so sneaky, and they think they think you don't get it. But you're like, excuse me, I've been on this planet a lot longer than you. <laughs> I know these tricks. Have I ever made homemade? Yes, I have, like, and I am a big fan. A big fan. I don't tend to put anything too exciting on them. I'll normally just, like, really, really finely chop them and then sort of toss them in some olive oil, some herb fetti, and maybe some paprika, maybe a bit of garlic powder, and just bake them like that. They're so good. So good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> as long as you don't make a fuss, I feel like that's like the the trick to it. If you kind of say, no, you're okay. Normally they'll go, all right, okay. No, I must be okay then, that's fine. <laughs> you don't like sweet potatoes? Oh, really? I... Didn't used to like sweet potatoes. It's a fairly new thing, um, but I do like them quite a lot now. They're nice in a curry. I think they like thicken the curry up a bit. Right, let's see what we're doing with this, and then we might be able to do our little mayo jars. So seasoning and stock, and then we're to, oh excuse you, and then we're to leave it to cook. Um, where's my green coriander there? So I'm just going to put in stock cube and a half, probably. Hummus is good. What kind of hummus like? I can't have chickpeas, so I make butter bean hummus and it's delicious. It's so good. <laughs> Hold your nose. <laughs> Hold your nose. Regular hummus? No, thank you. <laughs> I wish I could because I did, I did used to really, really enjoy it. But I find that butter bean hummus is, I would say, just as good. Possibly because I'm furious with chickpeas. But I would say it's just as good. Okay, you do you, like, if you want to eat hummus, you eat hummus. I won't be too upset with you. And I, I, to be honest, I understand it because it is, it's delicious. What do you dip in the hummus though? Because I, my favorite thing to dip in hummus is celery. And a lot of people hate celery. I am a big fan of celery. Thank you for your points, Gringo. I appreciate it. We're really getting there quite quickly. There's still a spoon in here. <laughs> right, so that's a stock cube and a half. About a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a half of ground coriander. And a little bit of herb fatty, so maybe about a teaspoon. So I don't want to make it too salty. So obviously there's the stock cubes in there. Crackers and oh yeah, that's a good shout. Like that is a good shout. Unfollow. Oh, do you know? <laughs> See, this is the thing. I feel like celery divides people. <laughs> they, de they definitely, de it definitely divides people. You know, say this earlier when you talk about curries, isn't it? <gasps> what? You had never had a curry until a couple months ago, Erica. Oh my gosh, I'm glad that you've now seen what you were missing out on and you're making up for it. Because curries are amazing. 
What is your favourite curry that you've had so far, Erica? It's for the first to make avocado hummus. I am intrigued by this. So, would you... So surely the hummus, I don't know what it means, but surely it must mean kind of bean or something. So would you do, like would you do chickpeas and hummus? And maybe use the avocado, no chickpeas and avocado, and then maybe use the avocado as more of a, like an oil. I'm intrigued by that, but I think it would be delicious. <laughs> Either way it sounds amazing. nine curry for the win. I don't think I've ever had that, Hoji. So, oh, Erica, I have to try this cilantro curry because I am a big fan as well. So I think it could also be right up my street. Okay. I have to mix up the avocado with the same consistency of the beans. Ooh, I think that would be delicious. Like, let's try that. <laughs> let's try that. Weirdo, who's a weirdo hold you? Be nice. <laughs> curry in a hurry, exactly. Curry in a hurry with copper. So I can leave the curry just to sit. It's gonna take a bit of time, I think. I'm gonna put it up a little bit because the sweet potato you want obviously to cook through. And then just towards the end, we'll just add the spinach in and let it like wilt through it. And then at some point I'll put some rice on, but that's only gonna take about 15 minutes. So let's, um, Let's draw some wee mayo jars, shall we? <laughs> You've seen I'm weird for liking cilantro. I hope not, Erica, because I like cilantro too. Right, what colours do we need? Are any of these people still here? And they can pick their colour. I feel like, would you not have to do both though? I feel like you'd need to use both because would you not need the beans for the kind of texture? Because otherwise you're closer to a guacamole, I feel. I don't know. Let me know how you got on with that like, because I would like to try it as well. Hi Raven! <laughs> you don't know where you're going with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Chris, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're well. Tired man makes stupid online times. <laughs> we'll forgive you. Hold you, don't worry. You need some beans. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, otherwise it would be guac. <laughs> so, yeah, you need some beans in there somewhere. Some kind of bonding, bonding edible agent. That makes it sound delicious. <laughs> Really would be glad. I reckon it would be tasty though if you added, like I would do butter beans and guacamole and you could use less oil because you would have maybe a little bit of fat from the avocado, maybe. It's chilli season, it's also curry season, Chris. <laughs> We're making spinach, sweet potato and lentil dal today. So I hope that's okay and you're not desperate for chili because that's not what's in the bowl. <laughs> These cookies are fresh. Are you eating cookies now as well, Lico? Because it was muffins a minute ago, wasn't it? I'm so jealous. <laughs> chili season! Yes, I am excited for chili and soup season. So that's, I can tell you about this now. I am going to do Super Sundays in November. Every Sunday in November, we're going to make some kind of interesting soup. I've got the first two planned, and then I need to think of another two for the last two Sundays in November. I feel like it's soup weather, most definitely. I'll add one bean. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, maybe that's what you need to do. So make a hummus with one bean, and then make a hummus with two beans. <laughs> and slowly keep adding more beans to see when you get the right consistency. Freshly baked cookies as well, Luko. What are you doing, Chaz? Oh, yum. Are they also chocolate chip? Because they're my absolute favorite cookies. 
you made some chili. Good, Chris, I am glad. What kind of chili did you make? Number one, guacamole. <laughs> we might have found a niche there, like, we should work on that. <laughs> a hot cookie or three <gasps> with a glass of cold milk. Oh, let's go. <laughs> this is so mean. Oh, they're needy. Are they not allowed in your room at night, Nudo? Marshmallow just need to deal with it. Unfortunately, life is hard. <laughs> Hello, Long. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Chocolate chip. I need to get some butterscotch. Butterscotch chips? <gasps> For goodness sake. <laughs> I really want a cookie now. Okay. What the heck? My ramen? <gasps> oh no! Is there somewhere else you can go, Roju? Is there anywhere else you can get some good food? How are you doing, Long? Are you good? Are you having a good Tuesday? It's good to see you. Half beans, half mixed avocado. I reckon that could be it, like, I reckon that could be the one. <laughs> right, we're gonna draw some mail jars. <laughs> I need to see who, right, how do I see where, where do I see, because am I gonna be able to, Where can I see this? I can't see it. I can't see it. Um, regular hamburger chili, nice. I just put a little sugar in it to take the spiciness. Super helpful. That sounds good, Chris. That sounds like a good chili. And lots of beans, hopefully. I'm huge. Oh no, dude. Maybe that's it. Maybe you just need this little push to go and find somewhere that you like as much, if not more, than the ramen place. It, I mean, there's, it's full of possibilities for you now. I don't want to be in so overpowered. Overpower the taste of the avocado. That's true. I feel like, yeah, you'd have to, we'd have to work on that to get the balance right. Need a nap before stream. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea, Long. So Long, we've been on for, about an hour and 20 minutes. The curry is cooking away. So we're just leaving it to cook, mainly the sweet potatoes because they're gonna take the longest. Um, and then we're gonna stick some rice on. So yeah, we're, we're, we're into it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Noodle. <laughs> Lots of beans, yeah, lots of beans. Casey, how are you doing? Curry, yes. I have made dal maybe once before. This is a slightly different one, but it looks really tasty, so I'm excited. Curry in a hurry. Oh, you found the recipe. Feel free to share, like, feel free to share. Yes, are you back, Casey? Is all okay? Casey, would, right, for anyone who's new, shall I show you what I did all this morning? I spent far too long. Oh, that, uh, yes. He has got his medicine. Oh, I'm glad he's okay, Casey. That's always a worry, but I'm glad he's doing okay. And he's got a good band to look after him, so I'm sure you'll be a good nurse. Right. Do we want to see, right, so I spent far too long this morning um, being crafty and artistic, shall we say. <laughs> and I'm very proud of what I came up with. So let's show you. Most people have seen it already, but if you've just appeared, then let's let's show you guys as well. Great sweet potatoes, press absolutely not. <laughs> That is like my worst nightmare. I have never tried it. But I cannot imagine that's tasty. I really like all of those things individually, but I like sweet potatoes savory. I don't like the sweet. <laughs> if that makes sense. If I'm cooking with sweet potatoes, I always add lots of like savory or spicy things to, to it so that it doesn't taste sweet anymore. Crafty copper and fed, exactly. Are we ready? Are we ready? 
I'm gonna not try and I'm gonna try and not take this down too often, but I'm too excited, so I need to show you. <gasps> Look! <laughs> it's all my little mail jar subs. Are you a fan, Chris, of the the sweet potato with the marshmallows? Do we love it? <laughs> so yes, if you subscribe to the channel, <laughs> you get your name in a mail jar on the wall. And I freaking love it. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. So I like sweet potato mash smoother. Hold you, just always sweet. No, never ever chunky. <laughs> Never ever chat. Oh, long. Thank you very much for your subscription. That's good because I have three more to add on. So we're gonna we're gonna draw some mail jars just now. But how fun is this idea? <laughs> Someone mentioned it to me as a joke, and then I took it seriously. But I really like it, and I think it adds something to the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you, Long, for your subscription. I really appreciate it. That's really kind of you. And we can add, we can add to our our board now. Called candy yams, candied yams. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, Chris. But you're a fan. I mean, it might not be a chunky mash. No, no, you cannot. <laughs> Sweet potatoes, marshmallows. No, absolutely not. No, no, we're going on. I mean, if if you if you guys make it for me, then I'll try it. But I can't guarantee that I'll like it. Long, what colour would you like? You get to be the first person to pick. <laughs> oh, thank you, Light. I will go and check them out after. Thank you, Long. I've played about with them quite a lot, but I am pleased with them now. I am pleased with them now. But yeah, you just need a bit of time because there's there's so many streaming bits to do. So it it'll get we'll all get there eventually. The yams and marshmallow. Nope. <laughs> Blue. Okay. We're plain roasted sweet potatoes, no frills. Casey, me too. One thing we agree on. <laughs> what are we not liking? Noodle, sweet potatoes with marshmallows and sugar and stuff on top. Absolutely not. Marshmallows all pudding. Oh. I like Brussels sprouts. Oh, I like I like Brussels sprouts as well. Like if they're done properly, I like Brussels sprouts. Right, long. Would you like? Would you like your whole name? On it or just long? It's 2 and you over. You can probably fit your whole name in if that's helpful. <laughs> I had to shorten some people's names. Oh, Mittens is concerned. Oh, they definitely know if if um, if something's up. They definitely know. <laughs> Is that not quite soon though, Luko? Or is it next year now? No. When is it? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not okay with Chunky Mash. Stuffing. Oh, I like stuffing. Long is fine. Okay. Go for Chunky. That's a bit rude, hold you. <laughs> That's a bit rude. This is like a really cheap version of Casey's drawings. But I'm sorry, this is all I can manage. There you go! <laughs> I'm gonna cut it out and then you'll go up on our wall. Exactly, Ali, they have to be done right. They can be really, really bad. Mittens is so sweet. That's cute that he's concerned. And hopefully they'll look after me, Elsa. 
Peter some good butter. Mmm. Yummy. Those are perfectly dry. <laughs> I mean, it's a meal jar, Casey. Have we seen all of the things that you draw? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Noodle. Perfect job. <laughs> well, I'm glad you all approve. <laughs> I am the jar drawing queen. I did draw 41 of them earlier. <laughs> Those are exactly how my jars look in real life. I am fully, I am glad, Ali. <laughs> I'm glad it's obvious what they are then. Mittens let me out or eat soft food without bugging them. Aww. That's cute. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> Fix your subscription. Right, as soon as it pops up, we'll do you a jar. Jennifer. <laughs> yes, it can be on yellow. I, that was going to be my next question. Like... Yes, Adrian. Look. Oh, where have I gone? Oh, thank you, Chris, for your gift. Chris for gifted for a tier one Kata. sub to Ali Kata. I need to work on this. This now. is Welcome their first the gift sub in the channel. <laughs> Ali, thank you again, Chris. I really appreciate it. That's very kind of you. So we have here's Long's mail jar. We're gonna do one for UV light, and then we've got two. Of Tron's gifted sub still to do. And then we'll do Ali's one. Right. Light, would you like to be light or sun move light? I could probably just about get all of that in. I did it about half an hour ago. Oh no. Okay, we'll do you a jar. I believe you. We'll do you a jar. <laughs> Wasn't it, Ali? Hello, Etern. How are you doing? <laughs> Casey, I don't know how you do this. Keeping up drawing and keeping up with chat. There's a wee jar, Dan. <laughs> Hello, Summer. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Right, okay. Yeah, we can get it all in. Which is just, yeah, I can imagine, because even this is getting me a wee bit on top of things. Oh no! How did that happen, Erica? Can you go back and get them to change it? What do we think? Get them revised, yeah, get them revised. Okay. Ali, since you're here, what colour would you like? If you're still here. What colour would we like? <laughs> and then I need to figure out who who got the other. Vanilla Queen got one purple. Okay. I love my little jars. <laughs> I'm so easily pleased, but I love my little jars. Etern, I'll need to show you my my jar board. Right, we'll try and put your full name in, shall we? Or would you just like to be Ali? Somewhere. Ah, there we go. There we go. I've got it. I've got it. Well, good. Ah, Lico. <laughs> thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm never gonna get. Into <laughs> thank you, Lico, for your gifted subs. I really appreciate it. That was very, very kind of you. All the subs? Oh, I'm, I'm lost already. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do Ali. Cause that's cute. Here we go. 
there's an alley one. Now I think Syntax and Vanilla Queen are not here. So let's do them quickly first and use up some other colours. Let's use these colours. Dark. <laughs> no. <laughs> it should be Ch Chess Coach John. How are you doing? Good to see you. I hope you are well. It smells delicious. And I need to remember not to forget to put rice on. So if I get too into drawing mail jars, please remind me to go and put um, some rice on. <laughs> right, okay. Vanilla Queen. This is going to be tricky. Did I spell that right? There we go. Did someone say rice? Yes. <laughs> well, I need about, how long does rice take to make? Like 15, 20 minutes? So I'll draw these out and then we'll put the rice on and then I'll cut them out and put them on the board. Yes, thank you, Luke. Well, thank you everybody for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, how we, I don't even know how you would get smooth rice. Like, what is smooth rice? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Gobber. Gobber who? Gobber needs to start. Not quite, hold you. Almost. Not quite. And they need to be more rounded. Only the syntax. Smooth rice is ah yes. I was wondering rice pudding, but rice pudding's not really smooth, is it? There we go. Okay, so that's our first lot. Next lot. <laughs> An artist. I wouldn't go that far. I would not go that far. Chess <laughs> John. I can draw mail jars and that's about it. <laughs> Congee. Okay. Korean rice cake is gluten free. <gasps> you turn I must try it then. Sounds tasty. That is that sweet or savory? Ethan. Smooth rice knows the right things to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I like my congee like I like my mad chunky but yes, but you're wrong. Daisy, you're just wrong. <laughs> the way it should be. I mean rice is allowed to be chunky. Pull it is up. <laughs> no, okay, I don't agree with this poll. <laughs> I do not agree with this poll. <laughs> Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Of the five who just got a gifted sub, who's here and who would like to pick a colour? Lemon and pepper smoked salmon. Oh, Jim, I love smoked salmon and I love lemon and pepper. I don't think I've tried the combination, but it sounds amazing. And hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Jim? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Hello, Donuts. How are you today? Good morning. Perfect day for a poll. <laughs> if the poll is done correctly, grass. <laughs> you make it sweet or savory. Ooh, okay. Okay, that sounds interesting. I would try both of those. Ali, literally, it's just these. <laughs> I'm not going to draw on anything else. And I have had a lot of practice today. <laughs> right. In the Chunky Club. No, no, I see, I can't, I'm just, right, I voted, that's fine. Okay, would anyone like to pick a colour? <laughs> oh, if you don't pick a colour in the next couple of seconds, I'm going to pick for you. <laughs> right, Jenkins. 
wooden stones. If you're still here, let me know what color you would like. And if not, we're just gonna go with one. The boat is rigged, Etern, it's rigged. It's because KC created the pole. <laughs> it's all rigged. Ah, Etern, thank you. Hang on, hang on. Okay, Me too. I can redo green. yours, Etern. Yours is yellow at the moment, but I can do you a green one. Rice time. It's not quite rice then. <laughs> right. Actually, maybe it is rice time. Shall we put the, let's put the rice on. I'm just really concerned that I get too carried away. Let's put the rice on very quickly and then we'll do the next lot. <laughs> well, I can confirm, Casey, that that was you. <laughs> We're on a disco call with all your other twins. <laughs> oh, that's worrying. Donuts. It's worrying how often you dream about Casey. <laughs> lavender looks lovely. Perfect. So, a lavender for Jenkins. Accusation. <laughs> OJ, whose side are you on? <laughs> Saying that avocado hummus, oh yes, there's no villa. Casey, the fact that it says perfectly chunky, <laughs> clearly you. <laughs> Donuts, and I thought I could rely on you. Love Dal. I love a Dal as well, Bodwell. How are you doing today, Bodwell? Good to see you. Right, one cup. Is that enough? I know. I always end up doing far too much, but I don't trust that it's enough. I'm concerned with good things <laughs> I I mean <laughs> I don't know if that's if that's really a thing, Etern. But maybe that's it. Maybe you have to like fall asleep and fall asleep, fall asleep in one of Casey's streams, and that'll do it. Two weeks, two weeks is not long at all. I'm so jealous. What happens when all your cupboards are filled with post-it notes from the million subs long, if only? <laughs> I think we'll be okay. We should. I think we should be okay. And to be honest, I really like the, I really like all the post-it notes on my cupboard, so I'm quite happy. <laughs> right, two cups of rice, not rice, water. And then a wee bit of salt. I like smooth rice because I don't like eating hard things. That's fair. Like, that is fair. It's good seeing you too, Bodwell. I hope you are well. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Happen. One week. It's only one week. <gasps> oh, madness. Do you know what Jesus? <laughs> <Is> <laughs> Next time I'll do the poll and we'll make sure that it's worded correctly. Perfect. <laughs> what? A corn roll? Can you imagine? How long would I have to keep the corn rolls though, Casey? And how would I how would I do that? Is that like a dreadlock or is that something different? Smooth only. Yes, well done, Luthal. In case you need to. <laughs> Chunky's hard. I mean, so I like smooth and like. <laughs> yeah, no, it's literally whether you like chunks in your mashed potato or not. Okay. <laughs> that was extreme. <laughs> 
chunky mashed taters and set fries down in a bin. <laughs> right, let's finish the mail jars and then we'll do a bean boozled. Thank you very much, chunky mashed taters, whoever you are, chunky mashed taters, for your tip. I do appreciate it hugely. <laughs> and for that, you deserve a bean boozled. So we'll do that in a wee second. I just want to get these done because I'm going to forget about them otherwise. <laughs> Yes, like, you are correct. <laughs> okay, so. <gasps> Hang on, is this pen running out? Oh no, we're okay. There we go. No, smooth peanut butter as well. Always smooth. Right, Jenkin, here is your jar of mayo. <laughs> oh, actually, that was stupid. I put the rice in the pot and I didn't actually put it on. That's not gonna, not much is gonna happen there. <laughs> Uh, what pot is that? The little one. Mm. <laughs> they are, they are cute, aren't they? I really like them. <laughs> silly pot. Why though? Why? Not silly at all. Right. We own it gaming. Let's pick a colour. What have we not had yet? Let's go for a bright pink, because we've not got a bright pink yet. I need a chocolate. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Yes, like, I really like almond butter, and I like it, I have it sometimes as a snack, and I'll dip, like, apples in it. That's really good. Um, we own it, gaming, what part of that shall we play? I feel like we own it, let's... We own it. I'm gonna <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to vote in the poll as well then, Casey. Then <laughs> the word choice is very sus here in the poll. <laughs> apples, yes, apples are good for you. What is it? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Right, what else? How many? Annie, what colour would Annie like? Would Annie like orange, do we reckon? I abstain from <laughs> I like both. I do not. Hold on, Jennifer, are you still here? What colour would you like? Writing these poses angrily. I think that might be KC. Look at <laughs> just a stab, just a stab at it. <laughs> Annie's mail jar. Hello, we own it gaming. I hope you are suitably okay with your little mail jar, which she was very, very kindly gifted to you by Luco. And yeah, so everybody who subs to the channel gets a little mail jar on my wall at the back which is covered currently by this camera <laughs> smooth, 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 smooth. <laughs> you tried i have not tried sunflower butter but it sounds delicious i'm a victim here hey you started it <laughs> 
deja vu. I know it's happening again, Noodle. It's happening again, but I feel like we're winning this one. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, Casey. What's happened? <laughs> All you wanted was just to chill out. <laughs> Look what's happened. Look at it. <laughs> I am sorry. I can only apologize, Casey. <laughs> Here we go, butter. You be like, I've done it again. Light. <laughs> I. It's quite expensive, so I tend to buy other stuff. <laughs> you can act your. Oh, sorry, noodle. But your active wear has pockets, so that's a win. King. I think I might have to buy a new pen. Stone King. Okay. Can't choose best for everything except cooking. Al no, Ali, no. <laughs> Unfeelingly smooth. We still won though. <laughs> oh no. Sunflower butter does sound intriguing, Hojo. I would definitely give this give it a go. Dreamt about this. <laughs> Crunchy BB is a great I know, but I don't like that kind of texture, Casey. I don't like it. Is it <laughs> It, I mean, that's very unactive wear, I would say, Casey, but you do you. If you would rather, they are comfortable, so I get it. Oh, you. Smooth one, yes. Get out of my skin when I sleep so I can breathe. Wait, what? Wait, what, Casey? Right, did I miss any? So we got three. Hold on. Eh, I'm confused. <laughs> So we've got three here. <laughs> Treat your <laughs> creamy, yes, creamy peanut butter jam. Peanut butter jam. No, the creamy peanut butter gang. <laughs> Why would you wear any other kind of trousers? Ethan, they're just so much more comfortable. Right. We've got from Tron these three long and then we have these right and then it's just jennifer are you still here jennifer what color would you like if you're not here i'll pick one <laughs> what is happening <laughs> it's happening <laughs> I used to wear jeans to sleep after an earthquake. Did you actually, Casey? I mean, I can, I kind of understand the logic there, but that's quite scary somehow. Right, what do we reckon? Would you like a bright pink, Jennifer? And then we've almost got two of each color just now. <laughs> yes, okay. And do you want Jennifer, well, I try and put, what is going on here? Stop boiling. Um, Jennifer Janet or Jennifer or Jen or how what would you like or JJ I can try and put the full name on I've worn overalls before to bed light oh, that seems a wee bit excessive <laughs> that's true yeah I get no I get that Jen Jan 
I like it. Let's do that. Jen Jan in a mail jar. <laughs> oh dear God. What is going on today? <laughs> All right, Jen Jan. Jen. Jan. There we go. I like that. That's cute. Do we approve, Jen Jan? <laughs> we don't have, yeah, we don't have earthquakes here either, Ali. That is an odd poll. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what, I, I, it depends what you mean by smooth pants or chunky pants. <laughs> like, is that, is chunky pants like more like, um, what are they called? Like tracksuit bottoms or something? Like like baggy ones and smoother like leggings. Jen Jan Jen Jan Jen Jan Jen Jan Jen Jan Jen Jan. Many things is that. <laughs> the kimchi you put in your round has ruined it. Oh, I've done that a few times, Casey. Mainly because I made the kimchi too spicy, so it makes everything I put it in too spicy. <laughs> you are welcome, Jen Jan. Anytime. <laughs> Hello, Paz Paz. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. I hope you're well. Can I do a farm to table stream? Ooh. <laughs> Told you I have nothing to do with the polls, I promise. I don't even know how, I still don't know how to do a poll. I don't know how, I don't know how to vote on it either, Ali. I'm really struggling. I'm gonna say, Okay, I voted. <laughs> bon, 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 bon. Boyfriend jeans are comfortable, Ali. I fully agree. <laughs> Why am I so old? Casey, you're not old. You're not old. Aww. Right, anywho. Anywho. Shall we do the bean? Shall we do the bean and then we'll cut out the nail jars and stick them out? Let's do that. Okay, so thanks to whoever, the pole is in the way, <laughs> thanks to whoever chunky mashed taters could possibly be, we've got another bean to do. This is the second of the stream, the first one, I was about 99% sure that I was going to have to do a dog food one, but I got lucky. And I feel like the more often I get lucky with it, the more chance I have of getting the bad ones eventually. <laughs> I was like, I'd take care of your senior. <laughs> oh dear. You're only as old as you feel. That's what I always say. You too, like, you're only as old as you feel. The 12 and <laughs> Exactly, that's it. If you feel like you're 12, then over 20. I reckon I'm about that eternal turn as well. Yeah, 2021 maybe. <laughs> oh, both again. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's spin for the beam. I hate this game. Oh, it landed on the brown one again. But I don't have any brown ones left. They are definitely all black. No, they're definitely all black. Your body's broken down as you can't be spiry. What's spiry? Is that a ninja term? Casey. Oh! <laughs> we have. No. <laughs> we have. Juicy pear or booger. Delicious. Boogie. A booger. I did respin, so we have juicy pear or booger. Brown <laughs> isn't a real cut. Brown is a shade. <laughs> is that not just black or white though? Or is brown also a shade? These sweet potatoes do not seem to overly be cooking. I'm quite happy with that. The lentils are, but nothing else is. Right. Juicy pear or booger. 
I have a lot of green ones. Are they all? <laughs> Thank you, Nicholas, for your hydration. <laughs> Thank you for your points, Eastern. I appreciate it. Right. Why do they look slightly different colours? That is definitely only good, yeah. Thank you, Casey, for your point. <laughs> okay, I have a green, a green bean. People cooking bacon in the front room. It was funny. <laughs> Why were they doing that? Like, <laughs> seems a bit strange. And thank you for your follow, Nicholas. I really appreciate it. It's lovely to have you here. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a good Tuesday. We need a 12-hour stream. We're getting there, Casey. We're getting there a lot quicker than I was expecting. <laughs> okay, are we ready? I'm nervous. Sending prayers. Thank you, Eden. I appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, is not good. Oh, I mean, how did they even get that taste? Oh, that is not good. That is not good. Oh. Oh. I would definitely say that the the um, the rotten egg one was worse, but that was not nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, I think it's just about gone. And I totally get what people say now, like the taste properly lingers, and you cannot get rid of it. <laughs> Thank you, Summer, for donating to the points challenge. I appreciate it. That actually brought a tear to my eye, that. <laughs> Thank you, yoga. Ooh. The soap one tastes like cilantro. <laughs> so, does that mean, Casey, that to you, cilantro tastes like soap? Why is this not... The sweet potato is not cooking at all. <laughs> I am sorry, Erica. I do apologise, but I appreciate you. And hopefully, it will be worth it. <laughs> I think it's more because it gets stuck in your teeth. Like it's not, it's not nice. So much for confetti cannon. Maybe we'll do like a, a little, a little cheeky confetti cannon at some point. I'll figure something out. Eaton, you already have a yellow sticker. Would you light a green one instead? Let me know because I can change it if you would like a different one. It's for good cause, it is. It is for good cause. I think I might have to noodle because it's not I don't want to add too much. I don't want to make it too like thin, but because I actually cut up the sweet potato into smaller chunks than they said. Maybe I just need to put the heat up. Right, we'll put the heat up for a bit. Welcome, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Yeah, are you sure you turn? because I can change it if you would like. What color are you? Noodle, you are. You're, you're also yellow. Casey, you're lavender. <laughs> I just had to go with it this morning. <laughs> oh, I can assure you, I after, um, after 12 hours of me, you'll be like, I never want to watch it again. <laughs> So over it. <laughs> like I'm done. Take back my sword. I'm done. <laughs> Yellow gland. 
I know that's what I'm thinking of though, but they have been in for a while, but I think I need to just put the heat up a little bit. So the heat is up. It's so lavender. It's Casey, it's because you're such a calming influence, just like lavender. That's what it is. It's the, the calming aura. <laughs> the calming smell, but that's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me trying not to make it weird and then Hoju appears. <laughs> Chaotic swearing us blue. <laughs> please do. <laughs> Either way, please do that. That sounds like a great stream. <laughs> oh dear. Stop looking at the window. Hoja's outside in the bushes. So do I, Ali. I absolutely love the smell. I'm not... I don't actually think I've really had it in anything to, like, to have the taste of it. Maybe, maybe like a cocktail or something. I love the smell of it. Oh no, Noodle, you need hydration. Maybe it'll be good for your legs to move them a wee bit. Are you tier six something? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I didn't even see that last poll. <laughs> I can't stand. Oh, really? Oh, but even the smell of it. Erica, see if you've got like a lavender plant out in the garden. Oh, so good. So, so good. A lavender and a rosemary plant in the garden. That's what I want for next summer. You need more tears. How many tears would you like, Casey? An old job that makes lavender lemonade and people love it. Oh, really? I would try that. Lavender, jasmine, lavender, grape. Ooh, okay. I would try that. I feel like if I like the smell of it so much, I probably do like the taste of it. Because is that not kind of linked anyway? Keep going. <laughs> yeah, because they're like baggy. The lavender plant, but you can't smell it. How come? You need to pick pick a bit off, Erica, and then like rub it between your fingers, and then you'll get the smell, and it's so good. And that's what you use to like help you sleep at night, isn't it? Like a lavender sleep spray or something. <laughs> like I have no idea how to do a bowl, <laughs> but it's fine. Other people to know how to do poles, so it's all good. I'll let them play about with the poles, it's fine. <laughs> the lavender is a herb. Oh, really? Have you tried that, Ethan? That does sound interesting. Maybe I need to do more with lavender then. Because they're like baggy, yeah. Exactly, Ali. Exactly that. Yes, lavender weed diffusers. They are delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Not delicious. You don't eat them. Don't eat them. But yeah, I have like a lavender spray that I use sometimes if I can't sleep and it's so good. Just such a calming, calming scent. Lemon balm. Oh, I like lemon thyme as well. All the, all the things. <laughs> what is this poll now? <laughs> what is that? Oh gosh. <laughs> so oversized, but yes. Oversized, but the right size. Eliza, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. It's all gone a bit mad today. I'm not quite sure what to say. But feel free to join in in the poll. 
try to spit it to the barn echo park echo park sales <gasps> oh nice one drunk <laughs> how many bowls did he buy eaten that's amazing that's probably the fanciest drunk food he's ever had it always says like jinkos i don't know what jinkos are He bought like half of them. At least you were able to definitely sell them all. That's handy. That is funny though. Look at all of our mail jars. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Eliza, I feel exactly the same. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the vote either. I, I don't know. <laughs> Of a drink coming <laughs> you left to go home and then come back at the end for another. You turn that's amazing. <laughs> I don't know what Jinko jeans are. Jinko in the nineties. Hey, see, I I fully get you. I don't know what they are either. But then that might be the Scottish that doesn't get it. Jinko! Jinko! Right. Are we ready? Just, I'm not hip. <laughs> You're very hip, Casey. Don't you say that. They pop that. I've never heard of them. In the Discord? Ali, or just stick them in uh, Casey's dick <laughs> where, you're, where you're already talking about jeans anyway. <laughs> I was learning how to be the perfect human. <laughs> yeah, Casey had more, more important things to be doing with his time. The, je the jeans aren't worth anyone's time. Were they that bad, Erica? I really want to see what they look like now. <laughs> Or just pants. <laughs> oh dear. I have no idea what these are. Regular jeans are just too heavy for anything. Else. No, you turn. Skinny jeans are fine. Nice. <laughs> exactly, Casey. I feel like you won out of that. Me too, Eliza. I, I hate baggy trousers. I can't. I just can't do it. And I feel like they make me look short, and I'm not short. <laughs> Mom jeans, best jeans. Is that the kind of jeans you wear, Hoju? Yeah, I always wear skinny jeans. I don't think I own anything that's not skinny. <laughs> Did I wear skinny jeans? I would say no, Casey. <laughs> no. Don't, you don't need to. No one needs to see all this kind of jeans. Oh dear. 15 years of martial arts. Yeah, Casey's going to teach us all some self defense, aren't you, Casey? I am five foot six. Hold you. I don't know what that is in American. What freedom? What's it called? Freedom figures? Or <laughs> skinny jeans and tall. Yeah, it's tricky. Yes, let's. Okay, I'm gonna take all my little, in fact, freedom's out. <laughs> Is that the same? Oh, that's handy. Yeah, so five, six. That's fairly easy to, to figure out then. Hold on, I'm just gonna bring it over. I am not that tall. I think it's the camera angle. Chris, so I mean, I'm, I'm pretty tall for here. I am quite a tall person, like, here. Freedom units, yes. <laughs> America. Oh dear, right. Where are all there? Are we all are we all here? Isn't it cute, Ethan? I love it. Oh. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. 
let's get some, we need to, we need to figure out the color properly because that's important. I love how, <laughs> can you see? Look. <laughs> Kesha is on the board. <laughs> Do you like Eater and I spent all morning on this? I have no idea. Like, I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> In fact, we're gonna need to put some up here, aren't we? A nickname in high school of America. <laughs> America. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. Right. I love that, Erica. That is brilliant. They're like, well, bell bottoms to go all the way up. What's happening now? <laughs> One point eight meters tall. Is that right? That seems very tall, right? Is it not? I mean, it, it's possible. I'm not sure. Love that drawing style of the mail. Thank you, Eaton. This is the only drawing style I can do. It's like kind of comic-y. I'm not good at any other style of drawing. <laughs> well, I won't, Erica, don't worry. I won't call you America. <laughs> like pants made by a lazy tailor <laughs> just got bored one meter is 3.3 feet i was gonna say like that seems very tall <laughs> that's the size of a really good right 170 yeah i feel like that that sounds more like it how many more have we got right we can get a a blue one up there. A tall one. That is tall, Eliza. Know how many stones are we? Do you? You can work it out, Casey. If you're really that interested. I need that green yet. <laughs> I weigh one stone. <laughs> Oh my goodness, right. I'm gonna have to get a new board already. I only have two spaces left. I might have to rearrange this slightly. Look at them all. Thank you everybody, I appreciate it hugely. So we just have a little gap there and then I'll, I'll need to figure out, <laughs> I don't know what to do then, <laughs> but we'll figure something out. Well, thank you everyone I really appreciate it and I hope you like your little meal jars I think I'm because quite happy I with do that. and also I now have you all as a permanent part of my kitchen so that's fun <laughs> can I inscribe what what are you inscribing Randomly. <laughs> but honest Casey so that's the main thing I took the time of my weight in stone. See, that's the thing, no one will understand it anyway. More subs. <laughs> I'm a statue. <laughs> oh, God. Please mind the gap. Yes, careful of the gap, hold you. Doesn't it eat turn? I love it. I'm so pleased with it. Right, let's see how we're getting on with all of this business. Right, rice is almost done, I reckon. I just need to check with the curry. I, it still seems a wee bit hot. Oh no, no, we're getting there. We are getting there. Good. Good, 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 good. Yes, a permanent part of my kitchen. And I love having you all there. At one point I was like, well, I just keep it up for the streams, but that's, that's staying up forever because I love it. And I think it looks so colourful. <laughs> oh, course, it's a house, apartment, a condo. Where? This here? A house. 
Or buttermelon? What? Wait a minute. Like the thinker, but eating a bone. <laughs> I would love to see that statue. And you think of it's really hard, Erica. Really hard. I struggled for such a long time. I think. I mean, it's not going to surprise anyone, but I think that was Buff's idea to do the mail jar. <laughs> and I love it. It like the mail thing is not going away anytime soon. So I'm just gonna embrace it and learn to love it. <laughs> Chunky! Smooth race for the win. I think I need to I need to actually try it. <laughs> oh no worries, Casey, go and clean them. It'll we'll be a nurse. I don't know, Erica. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it might be a surprise. That could be like a, a goal. <laughs> Was it you, Hojo? Right, it was Hojo's idea. Thank you, Hojo. It's a very good idea. I think I just got stuck with it. We're thinking it was buff because it just buff is constantly with the meal about. <laughs> Just own it. Exactly. We just have to own it. There is nothing we can do about it. Let me tidy up a wee bit and I'll grab. I think we're just going to do... We'll just put some yogurt on the top and some cauliflower. Not cauliflower. Coriander. I don't think it needs right. I think that may be a bit weird. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that's a good shout, Hojo. That might be a, that might be interesting. <laughs> We'd have to get one board, though. I'm not sure. Mr. Spoopy sounds suspicious. Very suspicious. Very suspicious. Mm -mm. Still send buff meals, wedding presents, and not <gasps> eaten. Yes, I have no idea how much it's going to take. How much it's gonna cost to send stuff to Norway? Cause I'm assuming you must be going there soon. So let's. <laughs> Thirty minutes. It depends. Yeah. What kind of shoes? And what else do you have planned? Told you. If you have the time, then go for it. Sure. <laughs> what shout out, Casey? <laughs> Runners for life and for work. I mean, if you need runners, then go for it. Come on. Hey, <laughs> uh, Come on, then. You're just being a daffy. Right, let me grab the yogurt and the coriander. Um, that's. Oh, no, wait, hang on. I got very excited at the prospect of this because I've never ever been able to buy it in a, in a supermarket before. I got Thai basil. I've never ever seen or had Thai basil before so I'm very excited. The shameless. <laughs> All the police. <laughs> All the police watching. And ask them, maybe they'll know if you should go and get them or not. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Don't need runners, but I have a problem wanting them. No, they always look so nice, Eliza, and I'm like, I don't run. I don't need these. <laughs> I'm old and a streamer. It's so <laughs> I'm old too, Casey, it's okay. It's more, it smells a wee bit minty. Can I eat it just like this? Yes, I can. You grow it every year, Eliza, that's amazing. I have never ever seen it anywhere and I've, apparently this recipe said to, di like, to garnish it with this. And I managed to, oh, it tastes weird. It tastes more like, I don't like it. <laughs> it tastes a bit like aniseed. It tastes a bit like aniseed, and I don't know how I feel about it. 
in this world and to think. Aww. Yeah, don't call it, don't phone the police, okay? Don't do it. No better melon. Not yet, Casey, not yet. I'm, I'm still on it though. You seem so grumpy. <laughs> Hello, Dolly. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? How's your Thursday? Big Thursday, Tuesday? Tuesday. Yes, good luck, Casey. Good luck. Oh, she feels so you're extremely young. Exactly, Ali. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, Erica, today. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that. thanks, Casey. I'm really looking forward to my dinner now. <laughs> I know, it's a wee shame, but hopefully it'll be okay. That's my, that's my cat's now appeared for the dinner. So, let's put everything off, everything is off. Let's feed the cats, and then we'll plate up, and then I'll eat. There's one. <laughs> yes. But, I mean, you could, it could have been worse, Casey, so it's fine. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, like the song is literally called If Why Wear a Jedi. I don't know. I, I, I need to change it because it's horrific. <laughs> You're fine, Casey. You're all good. I don't know what that song was, but I've got rid of it because I didn't like it. Dab for food. <laughs> dab away, like, dab away. <laughs> A kitty! He's standing perfectly right in the middle of it. Jedi here? Now there are two of them. Are you also a Jedi? <laughs> right, good luck, Casey. Let's feed the cats. You can see my orange shoes again. And this one? Just in the center shot. Look how he's so well positioned himself. It's just perfect. <laughs> and to become Baby Yoda's friend. Aww. Oh, hang on. Thank you for your follows, defeating Jack and Evan, Chessmaster. I apologize. I, I literally only just saw that come up there. I appreciate it. It's lovely to have you here. If you are still here, I hope you are both well. Aren't you glad she didn't say banana? <laughs> I know, look how cute they are. Right. Let's get their Let's get their dinner and then and then I can get me fed. See through the lives of the Jedi. <laughs> Ethan has the power to see through the Jedi. The brain is dying. Oh. Well, Murphy's handsome and Isla's pretty. They could both be both. So, that's fine. Look how cute they're being. They're about, they will start fighting in a minute. Ooh. This is one of those specialized. <laughs> like, that's Irish. <laughs> it is, but it's okay. We're close enough. We are close enough. You were getting caught up in the argument, Ethan. Which did you go for? Always smooth. Smooth everything. Right. Cats are fed just about. See, if you could, can you stand in the camera? So they can see you because you're not in it at the moment. No, there. It's, we're too late. It's too late. <laughs> Not for happening. Hey, hang on. I know the light's in your way. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Is that better? There we go. Okay. Oh, cats are sore. What did I miss? <laughs> smooth. Yes, smooth. 
Hamza's if you got no worries, mate. What have I done? Wrong one. <laughs> No worries, Noodle. If you fall asleep, don't worry. I'm finishing up anyway, so you're fine. <laughs> when it comes to mashed potatoes, Ali. Smooth all the way. Hello, Hamas. Abdullah, should I call it Abdullah? Pack <laughs> I would say I'm quite nice, Abdullah. I mean, that's up to you to decide, but I think I'm alright. <laughs> tis grand food, tis grand. That's still Irish light, I think. No worries, hold you. Good luck finding your shoes. If you get them, post a picture in the Discord. Strictly smooth. I am exactly the same, Noodle. Exactly the same. We're not doing this again. <laughs> Hunky milk. Eatern. I'm worried. I'm worried. Oh no. Hunky milk is causing squeeze. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, Dolly. We're, we're finishing up. We're finishing up. Obviously, I actually don't mind cottage cheese. I didn't know what it was like until recently, and I actually don't mind it. Let's get some. But yeah, I'm sad you missed. You missed most of it, Dolly. But there's always tomorrow. the stream again. Yeah, let's start it all from the beginning. <laughs> let's just start again, shall we? <laughs> cottage cheese is good. I feel like it gets a bad name. I feel a bit bad for cottage cheese. Like, it gets a lot of stick, but it's actually, it's, it's not bad people. Banana baby food. Oh no! Ali, no. Is that like the really fake banana taste and stuff? That is not good. Oh, I forgot the spinach! <laughs> I forgot the spinach. Hang on. <laughs> Aww. Right, hang on. I forgot the spinach. Get up. I'll be done in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Literally one of the main parts of the dish. Did anyone realise that I'd forgotten the spin? <laughs> oh, mac and cheese. Oh, nice. I wouldn't have thought to do that, Ethan. Got to cheese break with some ham and pineapple. I've heard that's a thing, Abdullah. I've never tried it. I have never tried it. But I would. I would give it a go. You have to blend it in. Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe I forgot the spinach. That was silly. But there should be enough heat left in the pan because it doesn't take a lot for the spinach to wilt. So we'll just wilt it through, give it a stir. A large part of oh, I think it possibly. Um, the small curd stuff then that I've had. It wasn't overly, overly intense curdy. <laughs> oh, please do, Eatern. You could put spinach in there as well. Oh, okay. I mean, I do like spinach, clearly. Right. <laughs> oh, dear. I'll just show you. I mean, look how good that looks in the pot. Yeah, so you just need it to, to kind of wilt the spinach. And there's enough heat in that to do that. But it just makes sour cream with less viscosity. Huh, probably, yeah. You can put cottage cheese in lasagna. Ooh, that's a good idea, like. And it's probably, is that healthier then? Probably slightly healthier. Huh? Oh my god. That's delicious. That is really good. 
I mean, it's not got much space, but I'm okay with that. So if you would want it spicier, you would need to add, I would say add some more, maybe add some like actual chilies or something. But for me, I'm happy with that. Here you go. Hello, Jane, how are you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. We're actually just plating up. I mean, you probably come at a good time because this looks delicious. <laughs> And it tastes good as well. So we have made a spinach, sweet potato and lentil dal um, with rice, some Thai basil and a little bit of yogurt. Thank you for the shout out. <laughs> Why does this happen to me? Every time I eat lentils, I get it stuck. Doesn't it, Ali? I'm so, I'm actually really impressed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So yes, if you want to try this, the menu, the recipe for it is there. I would recommend it. I think it's really tasty. And the sweet potatoes did cook eventually. <laughs> the guy that controls my whole menu between oven pizza and what we're cooking. That's fair. Abdullah, I would reckon if you like a curry, this is probably quite a good one to do because I'm sure you could freeze it. So you could make like a batch and freeze some of it and then you've got dinners for when you can't be bothered to cook. It is really tasty. I'm going to put a little bit of the basil on top, mainly just for show. <laughs> oh, thank you Abdullah, that's very kind of you. Well, hopefully it helps and you get some ideas for different things you can make. Lentils are one of my favourite foods. I love them too, actually. I am a big fan of lentils. Friday, I'll have to put all the chicken curry, all the chicken curry in the But you can manage, you will do it. We all have faith in you, Noodle. You have got this. I'm sure you're opening a catering business. To be fair, it seems like it's a... Oh god, do we add day to day turn? Hopefully you'll get some bargains. Right, I'm gonna take a couple of quick pictures. Grass jelly and soy milk noodle. <laughs> Not sound good. Oh, did you enjoy it, Erica? It looked delicious. I loved. Um I absolutely loved a uh, lentil soup. Ali, I used to love barley. It's not gluten free, unfortunately, so I can't have it anymore. But I used to absolutely love it. I used, my gran used to make, it's called scotch broth and it's like loads of vegetables and I think it's like broad beans and barley in and it was my all time favorite soup. So yes, <laughs> definitely try it because it's delicious. It is really, really good. Get a few pictures. Probably in drink form. Oh, really? I don't think I've ever had it in drink form. I have tried, well, I've tried buckwheat flour and buckwheat pasta, you sure? And I do really like it. I've not had it. Can you eat it like, like you would with barley? That is, it's delicious, Ali. If you, if you see, if you fancy something like that, try, look for a recipe for scotch broth. And it is so tasty. So, so tasty. Beer. Oh, okay. I mean, I can't drink it now, but that sounds interesting. Okay, I am nearly done. Bottles and bottles of homemade warm barley. Really? Helps to cool your body temperature? I did not know that. Andy, it does feel like one of those kind of old fashioned like grains that can do a lot. Oh, right. I'm gonna go and eat this because I'm really hungry and I, yeah, I'm just, I'm ready to go and lie down. <laughs> but I had a lovely stream. Thank you all very much for being here. 
Thank you for the ridiculous amount of gifted subs. Thank you for the beans. Whoever the random vegan mayo and chunky mashed tater people could possibly be. Um, thank you for all the follows. Thank you all for just being here and being fantastic. Um, I had a great time. I'll be back tomorrow. I am. It was a quick one, Lupo. However, tomorrow is going to be maybe a more of a full, a full, a full on one because I'm going to do like a bonfire night stream tomorrow because it's bonfire night on Thursday, but I don't stream on Thursday. So we're going to do it tomorrow. So have some themed dishes ready, which could, which should be good fun. So if you're about, please join me for that. Um, I am going to, let's raid someone. Who will we raid? Who will we raid? Cosmic Cat's on. We're going to say hi to Cosmic Cat. Guy Fox Day, yes. Erica, that's what you guys were talking about last night, was it? Guy Fox Day is on the 5th of November. So we're going to do, I'll read up on it and I can explain to you tomorrow what it is. <laughs> And then we'll make some themed food to go with it. So let's go and say hi to Cosmic Cat. Um, make sure I spell it correctly. And why do I need to? I need to press it so many times until it actually works. Yes, Cosmic Cat is also a food streamer. She is fantastic. Um, she's doing chill coffee and pumpkin contest. It sounds like a lot of fun. So let's go and give her some love. Um, I will hopefully see you all tomorrow. Thank you for being here and have a great rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is for you. And I will see you soon. Bye.